In this session, we're going to discuss how to access the test links for your survey. There's a couple of different reasons why you'd want to use the test link and get access to them. The first is to be able to actually test your survey and see what a respondent would see with some built-in uh, testing tool features that are only available to folks using the testing links. You can provide these links to internal folks within your organization and or to maybe an end client as an example. Anybody with the link will be able to utilize it and test through the survey. So let's see how to gain access to those particular survey links. A couple different ways to do so through the navigation. I'm currently on the build and edit tool here. If I click on uh, the words build and edit at the top, you can see there's a little arrow pointing downward, which will get you access to the navigation menu. So here, I can select one of two options, either A, preview and test. If I click on preview and test, this is going to give you the default testing tools for the specific link, which is your default. The other option is to click on survey links on the, the next column over. If I click here, this will take me to the survey dashboard. And under the fielding tab, again, same menu, just flipped in the other direction so it's vertical here instead of horizontal as you saw in the build and edit tool just to save room so if i click on survey links this is where i'll end up so the live links are at the top test links are at the bottom and you'll see that there are multiple links so here i'm just highlighting these two particular items just to show that there are always going to be two sets uh, of links, a live link and a test link. So here I have the language and country combination, the locale, and the sample source. So it's a combination of the two, creating a more unique um, survey link for that particular use case. So I'll have the live link there, test link down here at the bottom, and I'll always have those two options. If I wanted to select a specific one so let's say as an example i have five languages happening on this particular project and i have them all listed out i can copy and paste the specific test link to be able to test it in that language or provide it to somebody who's going to be able to understand it in that language so that they can provide feedback and or edits and updates to the the text and or content that's a good use case for needing to know how to get specific testing links. But again, you can provide any of these links to, again, internal folks within your organization or external folks, meaning possible uh, end client for their review. If I click on this first link, just as a test, I will be sent to the survey. And you will see that there is a menu or testing tools on the far right hand side. These will only appear for folks using the testing link. If you were using the live link, these would not appear. Nor would the question names and or numbers up at the top left. And or the autofill options, depending on the question type here as well. So pretty much this top row, the question number and the autofill options would not appear nor would the testing tools on the far right hand side appear to a real respondent. Depending on if you're giving the link to a person who is a current CMIX user or a non-CMIX user, there might be some different options that are not available. So as an example, if I provide a link to an internal person who has access uh, to CMIX, meaning they have a login, and they are not logged into the system, but again, they do have a login, uh, they would be limited to a couple of different options. So they would not be able to use the task feature, which we'll go into in a future session, as well as the edit page content feature. So these two particular options would not be available to a CMIX user who has a login, but is not currently logged in. These two would not be available. If you are sending this link 
to a person who does not have a CMix login whatsoever, meaning usually end client, then these two options definitely will not appear whatsoever. Um, actually, they'd be they'd be grayed out, so they wouldn't. So you can see the edit page content is is grayed out currently. The same uh, thing would happen for the edit and add tasks. So these two would be grayed out and not available. They would appear, but not available. And as you can see up here, we still have access to that same menu that we have on the survey project list screen or the, the launch pad. So if I click on that, again, same menu. So if I needed to go somewhere else, go back to the survey links, I can do so from here. Or if I was on the uh, CMix launch pad, I could go here. Maybe I'm logging in for the first time uh, during the day and I just want to click on here and preview and test it or go to my survey links. I'll be able to do that, no problem. So this is a general tutorial on how to A, access the testing links and B, a general overview of what may or may not appear uh, for users depending on if they have logins or not and if they're logged into the system or not. We'll go into some more details on some of these additional options in some future sessions.